Let's sail from Brach towards Far, the longest and sunniest Adriatic island where the sun will warm you 2,720 hours a year and where, if you're in diving luck, you can see the prettiest seahorses in the waters around the west coast. On the slopes of the island's hills grows the Mediterranean's highest quality lavender and along the road from Verbania to Humatz you can come across a farm of some of the world's most inquisitive ostriches. Before starting our school trip, a word of warning to yachtsmen. The winds in the channels around Hua will often be stronger than elsewhere, and the mitigating maestro often creates very fair-sized waves in the Hua channel in summer. We'll start our voyage around Hua from the centre of the northern side of the island, from picturesque Yelsa, fairly much exposed to the borer, where sailors can tie up in a depth of two or three metres on the western side of the quay in front of the harbour master's office, while the eastern quay is meant for regular shipping lines. Take a stroll through the town to the market and stop at the attractive marketplace by St John's Church. On the western leg you can anchor and bathe next to the nearby Glavitza Point and then sail into the remarkable little place called Verboska, which with its canals suggests a miniature Venice. As well as a marine filling station, there is a marina in the town, and above it, the Gardalan restaurant, where they do an excellent cuttlefish risotto. In the town, there is a unique church and fortress of St. Mary's, built quite out of the ordinary pattern, which really deserves a visit. We'll sail on to the west, where the first comfortable anchorage is provided by the southern side of the naturist island of Zetjebon, and then go on to Basina Bay, that, with its three inlets, provides good shelter. The voyage on towards Starigrad is marked by numerous coves, but in many, anchoring is forbidden because of the marine cables, which is, luckily, not so in the case of the deep bay of Zhukova, a good refuge and a nice place to swim in where you'll think you've tied up in some saltwater lake. If you turn off after Kabal Point into Starigrad Bay, drop anchor and have a swim in one of the seven inlets of Tiha Bay, the best natural haven in this part of the Havarian coast. In Stari Grad itself, try to find a mooring on the southern quay after the pier with the lighthouse, and then do take a walk along the narrow little streets, look in at the Hektorovich summer mansion, and when you're hungry, drop in at the Urin Podrum Tavern for angler fish in lemon sauce. In the next part of the voyage westward toward Pellegrin Point, there is once again a quite rugged coastline with a dozen coves, particularly Gracisce, Lucisce, Bericina, and Stiniva. All four of them with nice beaches for swimming and sunbathing, and the last with a jetty for mooring at. We ought also to mention the pleasant anchorage in Duga Bay, and the next one, Paria, stands out for its beauty, its idyllic little wood and its restaurant, although it has dangerous shoals on the western entrance. Here we are now at the southern coast of the island, where our first port of call will be Ha Town itself, where there are just a few moorings on the eastern part of the quay, and in the summer there is often nothing to be done but anchor in the port itself. Var is one of the nicest cities in the Adriatic and a well-known tourist centre. If you like the summer hustle and bustle, then this is the place for you. But it's also worth taking a look at the city walls and the 15th century Portica Bastion, the opulent city lodger, and the main square with St Stephen's Cathedral. Var has a vibrant nightlife as well, and in its squares, cafes and promenades, you'll come upon buskers, portrait painters and artists, summer cocktail kings and hot bloody dancers. We're heading on towards the east where, passing by the island of Pocogni Dol with its lighthouse, we'll come upon the town of Milna, after which it's a good idea to tie up in idyllic Dubavitsa Bay, where alongside a nice pebble beach there are two informal gastronomic points. Sailing on, you'll be impressed by the steep coast with the best far vineyards, but a shortage of good havens. In fair weather, it's sensible to stay in the little port of Svetinedjelia, or in the town of Zaglav, the logical point of departure for the neighbouring island of Shkedra. 
Between sailing on Rao Ha and exploring the interior, we opted for the latter because of the exceptionally attractive and real little villages scattered around the centre of the island. Set aside some time for a visit to idyllic Brussia, where some of the inhabitants have made museums in their own houses and where the local donkeys have an unusual penchant for football. And then move on over Old Grablia to look around Svirche, Vrisnik, and the original little place called Pitve, where it's worth dropping in at Komin, a tavern serving organic food. If you go on the same road towards the south, you'll pass through a remarkable tunnel dug out of solid rock. And then turn down to Sveta Nedelja, where it's worth tasting the fine wines in the Plenkovich winery.